Welcome to this service. At entrance, you should tell, Heavenly Father God, let your mercy be upon us. Give the deaths peace and rest. Give the churches unity and give the world peace. Amen, amen, amen. Let us pray the prayer of preparation. Almighty God, to whom all hearts are open, all desires known, and from whom no secret are hidden, cleanse the thoughts of our heart by the inspiration of your Holy Spirit, that we may perfectly love you and worthily magnify your holy name, through Christ our Lord. Amen. Prayer of Penitence God so loved the world that he gave his only son Jesus Christ to save us from our sins, to be our advocate in heaven, and to bring us to eternal life. Let us confess our sins in penitence and faith, firmly resolve to keep God's commandments, and to live in love and peace with all. Confession Father eternal, giver of light and grace, we have seen in what we have taught, in what we have said and done, through ignorance, through weakness, through our own deliberate fault. We have wounded your love and married your images in us. We are sorry and ashamed and re repent of all our sins for the sake of your son jesus christ who died for us forgive us all that is past and lead us uh, out from darkness to walk in children of light amen gloria gloria in excelsis deu gloria gloria in excelsis deu glory to god in the highest and peace to his people on earth Lord God, Heavenly King, Almighty God and Father, we worship you, we give you thanks, we praise you for your glory. Gloria, Gloria in excelsis Deu. Gloria, Gloria in excelsis Deu. Jesus, Lord Jesus Christ, only Son of the Father, Lord God, Lamb of God, you take away the sin of world. Have mercy on us. You are seated at the right hand of the Father. Receive our prayer. For you alone are the Holy One. You alone are the Lord. You alone are the Most High, Jesus Christ, with the Holy Spirit in the glory of God the Father. Gloria, Gloria. In excelsis Deu, Gloria, Gloria, in excelsis Deu, Amen. The Bible, Matthew 21, part 33 to 46, God sends his son. Listen to this story. There was a man who owned a vineyard. He put a wall around the field and dug a hole for a wine press. Then he built a tower. He leased the, le the land to some farmers and then left on a trip. Later, it was time for the grapes to be picked, so the man sent his servants to the farmers to get his share of the grapes. But the farmers grabbed the servants and beat one. They killed another one and then stoned to death a third servant. So the man sent some other servants to the farmers. He sent more servants than he sent the first time. But the farmers did the same thing to them that they did uh, the first time. So the man decided to send his son to the farmers. He said, the farmers will respect my son. But when the farmers saw the son, they said to each other, This is the owner's son. This vineyard will be his. If we kill him, it will be ours. So the farmers took the son, threw him out of the vineyard, and killed him. So what will the owner of the vineyard do to these farmers when he comes? The Jewish priest and leaders said he will surely kill those evil men then he will lead the 
he will leave and uh, to other uh, farmers and leave to the others farmer who will give him uh, his share of the crop at the harvest time Jesus said to them surely you have read this in the scriptures the stone that the builders refused to accept become the uh, corn, uh, cornerstone the Lord did this and it is wonderful to us so I tell you that God's kingdom will be taken away from you it will be given to people <coughs> who do what God wants in his kingdom. Whoever falls on this stone will be broken and it will be and it will crush anyone it falls on. When the leading, leading priests and the Pharisees heard these stories, they knew that the, that Jesus was talking about them. They wanted to find a way to arrest Jesus but they were afraid to do anything because the people believed that Jesus was a prophet. This is the word of Jesus. Thanks be to Lord. Hallelujah. 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 Epistle, Roman 14, part 1 to 6, don't criticize others. Be willing to accept those who still has, have doubts about what believers can do. And don't argue with them about their different ideas. Some people believe they, they can eat and any kind of food. But those who have doubts, er, uh, doubts eat only vegetables. Those who know they can eat any kind of food must not feel that they are better than those who eat only vegetables. And those who eat only vegetables must not decide that those who eat all foods are wrong. God has accepted them. You cannot judge the servants of someone else. Their own master decides if they are doing right or wrong. And the Lord's servants will be right because the Lord is able to make them right. Some people might believe that one day is more important than another, and others might believe that every day is the same. Everyone should be sure about their beliefs in their own mind. Those who think one day is more important than other day are doing that for the Lord. And those who eat the kinds of food are doing that for the Lord. Yes, they give thanks to God for that food. And those who refuse to eat some food do, do that for the Lord. They also give thanks to God. This is the word of God. Jesus, thanks be to God. Hallelujah. 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 Gospel John 18, part 28 to 40. Jesus is brought before Pilate. Then the guards took Jesus from Caipas, Caipas house to the Roman governor's palace. It was early in the morning. The Jews there would not uh, go inside the palace. They did not want to make themselves unclean because they wanted to eat the Passover meal. So Pilate went outside to them and asked, What do you say this man has done wrong? They said, He is a bad man. That is why we brought him to you. Pilate said to them, You take him yourselves and judge him by your own law. The Jews, the Jewish leaders uh, answered but your law does not allow us to uh, to punish anyone by killing them this was to show the truth of what jesus said about how uh, he would die then pilate went back inside the palace he called for jesus and asked him are you the king of jews jesus said 
is that is that your own question or did other people tell you about me Pilate said I am not a Jew it was your own people and their leading priests who brought you before me what have you done wrong Jesus said my kingdom does not belong to this world if it did my servants would uh, fight so that I would uh, not be handed over the Jewish leaders no my kingdom is not an uh, earthly one Pilate said so you are a king Jesus answered you are right to say that I am a king I was born for this to tell people about the truth that is why I came into the world and everyone who belongs to the truth listens to me Pilate said, what is true? Then he went out to the Jewish leaders again and said to them, I can find nothing against this man, but it is one of uh, your customers for me to free one presence to you at the time of the Passover. Do you want me to free this king of the Jews? They shouted back, no, not him. Let Barabbas go free. Barabbas was a rebel. Glory be to you, O Lord. Hallelujah. 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 A prayer. God blesses someone who is kind to poor people. When he is in trouble, the Lord keeps him safe. Yes, I pray that the Lord will keep him safe and save his life. I pray that he will be happy here in the land where he lives. Please, Lord, do not put him under the power of his enemies. The Lord takes care of him when he is ill in bed. Whenever he is ill, you make him completely well again. I said, Lord, be kind to me and forgive me. I have done wrong things against you, but please make me well again. My enemies say cruel things about me. They say surely he must die soon. Then we can all forget about him. When they come to see me, they pretend to be my friends. But they think of ways to make me ashamed. When they leave, they tell everyone bad things about me. All the people that hate me incite me to one another. They think of bad things that should happen to me. They say he has a dangerous illness. He will never get up from his bed. Even my best friend has turned against me. He was someone that I trusted and I often ate food with, with in my home. But you, Lord, please be kind to me. Raise me up to be well again so that I can pay them back. My enemies have not won against me, so I know that you are pleased with me. You continue to help me because I do what is right. You will let them stay near to you forever. We should all praise the Lord who is Israel's great God. That is what he deserves now and, now and forever. Amen, amen, amen. Hallelujah, amen. Preaching Lord, may nothing separate me from you today. Teach me how to choose only your way today, so each step will lead me closer to you. Help me walk by word and not by feeling. Help me to keep my heart pure and undivided. Protect me from my own careless thoughts, words, and actions, and keep me from being distracted by my wants, my desires, my thoughts on how things should be. Help me to embrace what comes my way as an opportunity rather than a personal inconvenience. And finally, help me to rest in truth of Psalm 86.13, which says, Great is your love toward me. 
you already see the ways I will fall short and mess up but right now I consciously talk your whisper of absolute love of for me into the deepest part of my heart I recognize your love for me is not based on my performance you love me words and all that's amazing but what's most amazing is that the savior of the world would desire a few minutes with me this morning lord help me to forever remember what a gift it is to sit with you like this in jesus name i pray amen decreed we believe in one god the father the almighty maker of heaven and earth of all that is seen and unseen we believe in one lord jesus christ the only son of god eternally begotten of the father god from god light from light true god from true god begotten not made of one being with the father through him all things were made for us and for our salvation he came down from heaven was incarnate from the holy spirit and the virgin mary and was made a man for our sake he was crucified under pontius plate this uh, he, he suffered death and was buried on the third day he rose again in accordance with the scriptures he ascended into heaven and is seated at the right hand of the Father. He will come again to glory to judge the living and the dead, and his kingdom will have no end. We believe in the Holy Spirit, the Lord, the giver of life, who proceeds from the Father and the Son, who with the Father and the Son is worshipped and glorified, who has spoken through the prophets. We believe in one holy apostolic church. We acknowledge one baptism for the forgiveness of sins. We look for the resurrection of the dead and the life of the world to come. Amen. A creed. We believe in one God, the Father, the Almighty, maker of heaven and earth, of all that is seen and unseen we believe in one lord jesus christ the only son of god eternally begotten of the father god from god light from light true god from true god begotten not made of one being with the father through him all things were made for us and for our salvation he came down from heaven, was incarnate from the Holy Spirit and the Virgin Mary, and was made man. For our sake he was crucified under Pontius Plate. He suffered dead and was buried. On the third day he rose again in accordance with the scriptures. He ascended into heaven and is seated at the high right hand of the Father. He will come again in glory to judge the living and the dead, and his kingdom will have no end. We believe in the Holy Spirit, the Lord, the giver of life, who proceeds from the Father and the Son, who with the Father and the Son is worshipped and glorified, who has spoken through the prophets, we believe in one holy catholic and apostolic church we acknowledge one baptism for the forgiveness of sins we look for the resurrection of the dead and the life of the world to come amen prayers of intercessions we pray for the whole world to solve their conflicts and live in peace and grace. Thanks, Lord, hearing and answering our prayers. 
We pray for all poor countries. Give them rain and let them use it usefully to make food. Thanks, Lord, hearing and answering our prayers. We pray for sick people. Please heal them and let them know your miracles and let them adore you. Thanks, Lord, hearing and answering our prayers. Amen. The peace. We are the body of Christ. In the one spirit, we were all baptized into one body. Let us then pursue all that makes us for peace and builds up our common life. The peace of the Lord be always be with you. Amen. Preparation of taking the bread and wine. You must have a piece of bread and a glass of non-alcoholic wine or water. Blessed are you, Lord God of all creation. Through your goodness, we have this bread to set before you, which earth has given and human hands have made. It will become for us the bread of life. Blessed be with God. Blessed are you, Lord God of all creation. Through your goodness, we have this vine to set before you, fruit of the vine and work of human hands. It will become for us the cup of salvation. Blessed be God forever. Your Lord is the greatness, the power, the glory, the splendor, and the majesty. For everything in heaven and on earth is yours. All things come from you, and of your own do we give you. The Lord is here, His Spirit is with us, lift up your hearts, we lift them up to the Lord, let us give thanks to the Lord our God, it is right to give thanks and praise, Amen. It is indeed right. It is our duty and our joy at all times and in all places to give you thanks and praise. Holy Father, Heavenly King, Almighty and Eternal God, through Jesus Christ, your Son, our Lord. For He is your living Word. Through Him you have created all things from the beginning and formed us in your own image. Through him you have freed us from the slavery of sin, giving him to be born of a woman and to die upon the cross. You raised him from the dead and exalted him to your right hand of high. Through him you have sent upon us your holy and life-giving spirit and made us a, a people for your own possessions. Therefore, we angels and archangels, and with all the company of heaven, we proclaim your great and glorious name, forever praising you and singing, Holy Holy, Holy, Lord God of power and might, heaven and earth are full of your glory. Hosanna in the highest, blessed is he who comes in the name of the Lord. Hosanna in the highest. 
accept our praises heavenly father through your son our salvation jesus christ and as we follow his example and obey his command grant that by the power of your holy spirit these gifts of bread and wine may be to us his body and his blood who is in the same night that he was betrayed took bread and gave you thanks he broke it and gave it to his disciples saying take eat this is my body which is given for you do this in membranes of me in the same way after supper he took the cup and gave you thanks he gave it to them saying drink this all of you this is my blood of the new covenant which is shed for you and for many for the forgiveness of sins do this as often as you drink it in remembrance of me therefore heavenly father we remember this offering of him, himself made once for all upon the cross we proclaim his mighty resurrection and glorious ascension we look for the coming of our kingdom and with this bread and this cup of a uh, cup we make the memorial of christ your son our lord amen christ is risen christ will come again Amen. Accept through him our great high Lord, this our sacrifice of thanks and praise. And as we eat and drink these holy gifts in the presence of your divine majesty, renew us by your spirit, inspire us with your love, and unite us in the body of your Son, Jesus Christ our Lord through him and with him and in him in the unity of the holy spirit with all who stand before you in the earth and heaven we worship you father almighty in songs of everlasting praise blessing and honor and glory and power be yours forever and ever amen The Lord's Prayer Our Father in heaven, hallowed be your name. Your kingdom come, your will be done on earth as in heaven. Give us today our daily bread. Forgive us our sins as we forgive those who sin against us. Lead us not into temptation, but deliver us from evil. For the kingdom, the power and glory and are yours now and forever. Amen. If you are many, break the bread and share with each other. Though we are many, we are one body because we all share in one bread. Son of God. You take away the sin of the world, have mercy on us. Son of God, you take away the sin of the world, have mercy on us. Lamb of God, you take away the sin of the world, grant us peace. Amen. Giving of communion. Most merciful Lord, your love compels us to come in. Our hands were unclear, our hearts were unprepared. We were not fit even to eat this crumb, the crumbs from under your table. But you, Lord, are the God of our salvation and share your bread with sinners. So cleanse and feed us with the precious body and blood of your Son, 
that he may live in us and we in him and that we with the whole company of Christ may sit and eat in your kingdom Amen God's holy gifts for God's holy people Jesus Christ is holy Jesus Christ is Lord to the glory of God the Father Amen You can eat the bread and drink the wine or water. If it is water you are drinking, you can uh, ask Jesus to turn as wine in your body. The peace of God, which passes all understanding. Keep your hearts and minds in the knowledge and love of God and of His Son Jesus Christ our Lord and the blessing of God Almighty, the Father, the Son, and the Holy Spirit be among you and remain with you always. Amen. It is the end of the service. Go in peace to love and serve the Lord. In the name of Jesus, Amen. At exit, you should tell, I give over my past to the mercy of God, my presence for the love of God, and my future of God's protection. Amen.